I just, I have so much love for you, and I said I must come for a dasha. Thank you. I was telling to the devotees, I said, you are you the... Are you with Dr. Mishra? No, I'm not. I was telling all the devotees here, I said, Sri Prabhupada is the first man who brought bhakti in the West, where it is needed most. There they are so much in the head, thinking, thinking, thinking. This path of love is so profound. You see, to present a real genuine thing. Very genuine. It is real. That is why it is growing so beautifully, because it is genuine. And it is the duty of the Indians <coughs> to give them genuine mm -hmm. That is Parabhupada. Before me, all these Samis and Yogis went there to cheat them. No, they were afraid to give the truth because they were afraid they will not be accepted. And they did not know what is true. <laughs> not why? And if one is on the platform of truth, why is he there today? Sure. They, had, <laughs> they did not know what is true. Did it begin from the Vedana? All the way. Right? See, after, after you came, I was there in 1960, I started teaching yoga. But after you came, I became fearless to teach bhakti and chant mantra. Now we have lots of bhakti in ashram, lots of bhakti. And I pay that respect to you because I was afraid to give that because I thought they are Christians and they will not like so much devotion, they will misunderstand. But you have performed a miracle. God has, Krishna has performed miracle through you. It's just very amazing. Greatest miracle on earth. Just, I, I just feel so strongly about it. Very very kind of Right. And this is what I'm doing too. Everyone, we have about 180 people who live permanently in the ashram. And they all practice celibacy. Everyone wakes up at 4 o'clock and they sleep by 9 o'clock. They don't touch even each other. They sleep separately, they sleep different quarters. They sit even separately in satsang. And everything's strict. No, no drugs, no alcohol, no meat, um, no tea, no coffee, no garlic, no onion, Very pure. <laughs> yes, we are following you. Yes. We have got any deity? Yes, Lord Krishna and Radha is our deities. My guru is um, Swami Kripalvanandji. He is um, in Baroda, near Baroda. He has, he has an ashram. He practiced his sadhana for 27 years. And 12 years was complete silence. The last few years he is speaking once or twice a year because many people request. He is not chanting. He chants. Chant. During his uh, silence, his chanting is allowed because when he says, when you say the name of the Lord, that's not called breaking the silence. So he chants. Silence means we shall not talk nonsense. That's it. We shall chant Hare That's right. That is right. Instead of wasting time talking on this material thing, better right. chant Hare that is positive. Right. And the silence is negative. Right. Stop nonsense, speak sense. Right. Parangadhisthya divartha. 
परम दृष्टि अनुभव Ram 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 Ram